Welcome to Sunny Day Stamping. I'm Julie Baca and welcome back to our Christmas series. Today we're not making a card, we're going to make a gift card holder. I love making a personalized envelope for a gift card because sometimes a gift card can seem impersonal, but this really makes it special. So we just, we're going to make this little belly band and open it up for the gift card. I just wanted to show you that I got my new mini catalog in the mail just the other day. I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, so I get it a month early. Um, and you can see I've already <laughs> noted all the things that I want. Not that I'll get them all, but if you would like a catalog, I've got a link down in the description for you to request one and I'll send one out. It'll be available to customers in January. You can also sign up for my email list because that will keep you up to date on all the sales coming out because there's also a celebration starting. Let's get started on our gift card holder. So to make this card, I'm using Stampin' Up's designer series paper. This is gingerbread and peppermints. Um, it is double-sided paper. Like, look at all the options you have. So that's where you'll start is um, picking your designer series paper and choosing a paper or papers to use. Also, for the um, little embellishments, I'm just I just cut out you know, large elements out of these papers to use to embellish. Now stick around for the end of the video because I'll show you how to make a smaller one if you're just giving cash um, and also one that is uh, stamped and not using designer series paper. Now you can mix and match different designs from the designer series paper or just choose one sheet, which is what I've done here, and you cut and you flip and these are going to be perfectly coordinated. So you're going to cut your paper to three and a quarter by two and a quarter and three and a quarter by one and three quarters. And then you're also going to cut a white sheet for the inside uh, little sentiment to be the same as the top. Now remember all of these are on a downloadable project sheet so you don't have to remember all those measurements. You can find that sheet over on my website. There's a link down in the description of this video. Now after you've cut your designer series paper you're going to take your uh, coordinating cardstock so you're going to pick whatever colors out of here coordinate well in my case for the gingerbread and peppermint i'm going to use the real red and um so you're going to use an eight and a half by 11 inch piece of cardstock now what we need is a one inch strip for this belly band so i'm going to cut that out off of the um the short end so so that ends up being eight and a half by one and then for the actual folder, we need that to be three and a half inches wide by eight and a half inches long. And that's all you need. You got you got enough to make another one with the leftovers there. So now you're gonna rotate this. And with this um, trimmer, you actually have a scoring blade on it also, which I, I mean, I use it all the time. It's so great. So you're gonna score this two inches on one end Make sure you're using your scoring blade, not your cutting blade. <laughs> I have done that. So, and then I'm, you're gonna turn this around and you're gonna score it two and a half inches from this end. Now you're gonna take your bone folder and fold these into nice, good creases. This just, this tool makes it just, makes such a nice crease. Now you're gonna glue your large, larger piece on the top and the smaller on the bottom. Now to create the uh, little sleeve for your gift card holder, just put a little glue on the edge. You could also use um, a different type of tape glue, but this is what I've got, so this is what I'm gonna use. Then you just press along the edges until it's nice and tight. So now I'm gonna take some real red ink to go with this real red cardstock. I might have said the wrong color earlier. <laughs> this is real red. And this is why I love Stampin' Up. This color, this red is the same color as this red. If you um, use different brands, they're, they're not gonna be uh, perfectly coordinated. Plus, their designer series paper is also using real red, so you know that everything coordinates like perfectly. Now, I'm going to use a sentiment out of the Christmas to Remember stamp set. It's the one I've been using for most of my projects, so it is so versatile. Let this dry just for a sec, 
and then put some glue on it and we're gonna put it right up here now you could also use um, a sentiment that is maybe more narrow if you're wanting to write a note you know just put a sentiment up at the top so now we're gonna add our belly band but before we do that um, it might be wise to put your gift card in there first because it is going to add a little bit of extra, um, you know, thickness. So, and you just fold this around. And now we can take that out and put just a little bit of glue here. That's probably too much. And just try to line that up, pressing this down. You could do this on your, you know, without taking it off, but I was afraid I was going to get glue everywhere, and I sure did. So I'm glad, glad I took that off my project. Now we'll slide it back on. There. Now, if you don't want to um, embellish the front, you could put it on this way. But because I'm going to put a like an embellishment here to cover up my seam, I am going to put my seam in the front. Now get your designer series paper and choose any of these large elements and just uh, cut them out. I'm cutting mine by hand. Some of the designer series paper have um, die cuts that you can use. I chose this little star. I think it's so cute. So I'm just going to um, put glue just right down the middle. because I don't want glue on my project here and it doesn't need that much so just enough to seal that up there it's so quick and easy so here are our festive uh gift card holders now this one is done in green so you could do a green colored uh background also you notice this one is smaller this one is for cash it's just a little bit shorter so the cash fits in there uh, really well instead of being, you know, drowned out in a large uh, gift card holder envelope. I've got the measurements for that over on my website. Now, if you don't have designer series paper and you'd rather stamp yours, I used this one. I used the Sweet Symmetry uh, stamp and I actually stamped a smaller thing on the real red and uh, did this on the inside and this would be a gift card holder. Oh, and I tied it up with some ribbon. If you have any questions about this project, just leave me a comment below and I'll get back to you. Also, don't forget to grab your free project sheet. You can download it right off my website and it'll have all the measurements so you can make this for yourself. Have a sunny day.